Hello there, I'm Andrew Hill. Welcome back to Hides of Iron 4, playing the Mongol Empire. It's 25th of March, 1940, and we had a few whoopsies with our population. Uh, namely, we did unfortunately lose about 59,000 people in this conflict. Uh, but we're going to make it work. It's just such a mountainous area. But we're going to very slowly annihilate these guys. It's going to be okay. It's going to be okay. There we go. They're attacking us, unfortunately, but we'll make it work. Luckily, they're keeping up the assault. The thing is, the uh, the seven divisions from these guys are helping a lot. Oh god, we're just wasting manpower here. Jesus. Oh boy. Look at that. That's, that's unpleasant to watch. I can't look! Close his eyes. Except, looks through the fingers. Three divisions on Haisin. Jesus. But they got no manpower. They're, they're basically out of factories now. It's just now allowing them to kind of let themselves die. Just let it happen. All right, how long till they get there? They get there in nine days and 16 hours. We get there in five days and 23 hours. I think we win. I think we win. This attack is still happening. Jesus Christ. Oh, things take so long here. Look how long things take. This is crazy. We'll head up here to reinforce that, and these guys will keep moving that way. Hello! You go that way. Right, now we're going to do something fun. Boom. 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 Five divisions. This should be enough, please. Ah, uh, we're already... Our justification of this, these guys is already up, but I can't do anything. Ah, I hate that. And get caught in it. It's got oh, they're not even replenishing that. Cool. So we're we're just you know completely taking this territory, without really any resistance. It's just taking so long, and we're still losing thousands of people. CM's declared war on the Indo-Chinese Union. Oh baby, our pop is going to be beautiful soon though. Going to get an extra two percent. I'm really looking forward to that. What the hell? Oh, please. Please reinforce that. Okay. Oh, yes. Please conquer that. I beg of you, because then I can just knock you out. Oh, baby. Are they going to do this? Are they going to just let me... No, they're not even going to follow it up. What a bunch of assholes. Oh, they are. They are. They are. Nice. Nice. They are abandoning their own territory. I love it. No, Soviet Union, please. Don't help them. Please don't help them anymore. No, 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 no. Stop, 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 stop. No, no, go here. Just go here. Let them do their thing. It's okay. I want this to happen. This is a thing that I want to occur. Okay, stop attacking. Jesus Christ. All right, well, that's free territory for us. Thanks. Thanks for that stuff. Wow, our infantry could have been still really bad. Okay. Oh, no. We're a little bit low on the old infantry equipment. Okay. Look, they're out of war. They're out of everything. They can't do money. They can't do much more. We could just break this. We do so well. Unfortunately, that will replenish very shortly. Ah, it's already got two divisions. Ah, it's already got two. All right, come on. You guys attack them. You guys attack them. Good, good. Oh, beautiful, beautiful. Okay. It's gonna take a long time, unfortunately, but we'll make it work. And we also have the problem here. There are a lot of divisions there. When does this war goal expire? It expires on... 6th of June. So we have until 6th of June to put more divisions on that line. In fact, we are actually ready to do that now. We could actually put 6 divisions on this. With a new general. And it, we've got... 
A lot of hills. We can defend pretty well. It's not core territory, but we'll do all right. We basically just have to let them uh, kind of expire. <laughs> oh, hello. Is this going to listen? Going to listen? Oh, they're banning the capital. They're banning the capital. They're banning the capital. Please abandon the capital. I beg you. That would be awesome. Okay. What? Well, they abandoned the capital. Yeah, no, they 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 they, they abandoned the capital. Okay, all right. That is a that is a dumb move because you will capitulate. Okay, I own the capital, and I have won the war because you capitulated. That was not a good choice. Okie dokie. That helps out a lot. Thank you very much. Thank you for your cooperation. Um, not really sure what to make of that. Put these on a different field, Marshal, and then away we go. To go into the capital. What an idiot! That was extremely interesting. Um, that was the worst AI decision I have literally ever seen. I cannot believe it happened. Oh, look at this. 10% attack and defense for Longdin Dondar. Beautiful. We're about to get standing army as well. It's going to take our population up by an additional 2%. 2% of 3.55 million. 2% of 3.55 million. That is 71,000 men. We're going to gain by 71,000 men. That's awesome. Yeah, that is... That is a special... Oh, uh, no, they're joining the Republican government. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, uh-oh. They're going to start to do stuff. How long till this expires? 6th of June. Okay, come on, come on, come on. Go, go, go. Jesus Christ, why won't you strategically read the position? <clears throat> Please. <coughs> Definitely you. You stay right there. There we go. We forced them to strategic redeploy. There we are. Good. Construction three. Excellent. Let's get some of this equipment bonuses. Now we're going to really quickly build up that, uh, build up that planning bonus. Then we'll just invade the pants off of them. God, it'll be great. We'll let them attack us first, though. I'm excited. I'm excited. I'm gonna get a small chunk of territory. When's Barbarossa gonna continue, for God's sake? Hey, look at that! It's about to start real soon. Awesome. Barbarossa is soon. Okay. How's our equipment doing? Pretty good. Got a lot of basic equipment. Oh, do we have some good good equipment here? Nice, nice, nice. Uh, we need some more artillery, definitely. Okay, are we ready? Do staff office plan real quick. No one's leveled up. Oh my goodness. Let's get that planning bonus. Italy claims on Yugoslavian territory. Okay. Alright, one more day. Maybe two. Standing army bonus. Oh yeah. Look at that. That's going to be so good for us. Okay, next up. Military science for an extra research slot. Yes, please. Our army must grow not only quantitatively, but also qualitatively. By establishing close cooperation between high-ranking military and scientists, we can supply our army with the most necessary innovations. Alright, last day for that big supply bonus. Oh, we're eating up supply. Get out of here. Alright, let's go. Let them declare war first. Let them attack first. Nope, they don't want to. Okay. Attack there. Attack there. Attack like that. Attack like that. Like that. That's just gonna split up the attacks pretty much evenly. Boom. Force attack. For everybody. And then we get some more military factories. 
Anywhere we can make him, like right there. That should be pretty good. Uh, hopefully it won't take too many casualties. That is my hope. We've built a pretty significantly large army. I'm pretty happy with that army size. We've got force attack. Should just do more casualties. Strength damage taken. Oh boy. Okay, okay. So now it's not displaying casualties yet, but that's because our population is ticking up. Okay, anywhere that's losing combats, like here. Stop that. Wow, it's literally all mountains. People's army, cool. Re infantry recovery rate, let's go. Looks like we need to focus on just one area. Jesus Christ. Hey, look, we're exactly combat with. Awesome. God damn. And casualties 6k to the 1k. Not bad. Uh, the Conference of the Soviet Regions. Wow, they've not even started this tree yet. Wow, okay. Jesus Christ. They not even started that tree. What are you doing? Operation Zet. That is China, right? Oh, and then there's the Tenno Tanuva. Lame. But yeah, War of the SSR is about to kick off. I have a focus against... Oh, free pass. It's fine. It's a puppet. Yep, that's going to kick off for them. That'll be fun. You're going to get wrecked. Let's go wait a little while for this to fire now. Exciting. Okay. Oh, I tried refreshing and changing some file names, and it did not work. That's 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 weird. Okay. Awesome. Let's attack these guys, shall we? But the majority of them are going to be right there because we're going to push through their cap to their capital because the AI is not very good. No, it is not. Oh, baby. Look at that. The AI is garbage. Gonna just wreck these guys. This is the thing. Having one gap. Look at that. That, that That's what I should have considered. This is the only gap. And this is from the north because all of this is mountains. This bit is plains. And then as long as you just keep attacking, you can just keep pushing them back because their recovery rate is garbage. Come on. How long does it take? Because they're in mir mir myriad problems in their country. I mean, look at this. Illiterate population, unbalanced industry. Actually, doesn't affect their tension. Skill personnel shortage. Oh, damn. Look at that. Whoa, look at those malices. No way out. Wow, they have a crap ton of malices. Look at that. Incompetent heavy industry. This is really harming them. Actually, some bonuses in their division organizational strength. Military junta. Okay, so it looks like their actual... um, Yeah, division tends in core territory. They're actually fine. They actually don't have any malices. I'm just wrong. That's okay. You gotta, you gotta admit when we're wrong sometimes. That's important to do, guys. We're not always right. Just keep pushing these guys. Look, now they're attacking us in a mountain. Ha, ha, ha. You fool. No, no. Hit him, please. Thank you. Because we want to rush to Yunnan, you see. We want to rush their capital. As long as you just keep up all their other forces and make them keep them occupied, we can just slick, slip around and eat their faces. Ah, there's people in the capital. Bro, not cool. Uncool. Very uncool. Uncool to the extreme. Why are we at zero? Wow, that is a fort. That that is a that is a fort. That might be why we're struggling here. Those are those are forts right there. Okie dokie. Problematic to say the least. Jesus. That is indeed problematic. Wow. Minus one hundred and five percent what the shit? 
That's not good. We need a Ford Buster or something. That's uh That's a problem. Yeah, that's a problem. Okay. Well then. <laughs> Willy, 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 well. Can't really beat them, can we? We really can't. We actually cannot beat them. We literally cannot push past them. Shit balls. Ask for the big bob from Kiwi Empire. No, we're cavalry only in this game, my friends. Well, they're, they're in multiple combats, but... No, we're not doing shit. This is, uh, it's not good. Not good. Hey, and there's Barbarossa. Call Gandhi for the Fort Buster, the nukes. Yeah, that'd be nice. Oh, boy. And they just keep recruiting more divisions as well. They are literally taking no damage. So I'm thinking... We just shut them off. We can at least take this little section, which is not forted. God, I can't even take that bit. That was forted. That would have been hell to deal with. Jesus. This is... This is hard. Hey, eight divisions from the Imperial Japan. Thanks, buddy. That's going to run the 21st of October, so we kind of need to be ready for that. Leon Trotsky has been assassinated. No, do not reinforce. Thank you. Jerks. Yeah, I'm going to be in essentially a constant state of war right now. It's, it's grand, I got to tell you. But I do have 16 divisions right here, ready to attack into these guys. But man, is there a lot of border issues and mountains and such. If I can take this, I can at least annihilate these guys, and that'll be something. Oh boy. Well, at least the, the, the Japanese will be constantly attacking into mountains and whittling them down. That's something. Maybe we should work on an air force. Albania join the Allies, bro. Yeah, if we can get some kind of, like, tack bombers... Um, that'd be pretty good. Zog Defiant. Oh boy. Wow. So defiant. Many kills. Wow. So let's get resource... No, let's get civil aviation. Get two air bases. Get some air theory and start getting some fighter model bonuses and stuff like that. We can start to maybe get some actual strengths. Wouldn't that be nice? Oh, we can get another research slot as well. Ooh. So hang on. Is there any actual air bases here? Do you have planes? They do not. That's fun. Okay. Um, so let's get some tack bombers. So tack bombers can get strategic bombing. And then strategic bombing is 10 or strat bombers for 30. Let's get strategic bombers. Because obviously tack bombers are more useful in general usage. But I'm going to get some strategic bombers. And we can just try and blow people up. Um, actually, I wonder if maybe tack bombers would be better. Because then I could use them for more general purposes. What was the national focus of the Russian diaspora? I don't know. What do you mean the Russian diaspora? The Russians are currently going to move industry to the Urals. And they are they are dealing with some stuff right now. Oh, boy. They are, they are dealing with some stuff. Shit. Clash with China. Really? Way more. That doesn't... That's not with me. And then the Shenzhen era. War goal. Okay, it's Republic of China. That's cool. I'll take a look in one second. Recognize Manchukuo or reclaim the Northeast. That's just Korea. What? What? Chinese leadership. Okay. The Russian diaspora. Let's take a look. I see no... A Russian diaspora. This gives me... Uh, one Sith factory, army experience, and political power. Okay, Albania's capitulated. Oh, yeah, I'm so surprised. Come on, guys, die. Don't make me die. Very more. Uh, let's try it. Force attack or something. You can do it. I believe in you. I believe in you. Yeah. 
Why are only some of them commanded by Tuskidoon? So oh, because he actually has bonuses, doesn't he? Hey, look at that. Combi cavalry expert. Nice. He's actually getting cavalry leader all on his own. Oh, that's nice. Cavalry division attack and defense. Please. Thank you. Cavalry expert. Yes. Attack and defense. That's what I want to see. He long, Mr. General. Well, he is long. He's a very long man. Come on. Kill these guys. God, this combat with is crazy. ADD 40. Hooray. That's fun. Let's get some fighters as well then. And let's start making better infantry equipment. It's going to kill our steel, but that's all right. There you go, Germany. You and me obey. Is Soviet Union holding up? Uh, they're surviving somewhat, but not, not greatly. Jesus Christ, they are not doing well. But their strength is being whittled like crazy. This is the thing. Their strength is really going down pretty steadily. So each fight, they're going to get worse and worse and worse. All right. That's going to be it for this episode, guys. Do be sure to leave a like and a comment on this video. Let me know what you think of the series so far. I was Aldra Hill, and I will continue to be. This has been some Hearts of Iron for Mongolia. These guys just won freaking die. This is going insane. Thank you so much for watching, and bye bye <laughs>